Hi, this is Hector Garcia, and I'd like to walk you through using attachments in QuickBooks Online. So there are many different ways to attach files in QuickBooks Online, and you can also attach them in different contexts and different types of files as well. Um, I'm going to walk you through five ways to attach files. We're going to start with attaching via bank feeds. And this is when you download transactions from the bank directly. And then as you enter those, we can attach uh, receipts or documents related to those transactions. Then I'm going to show you um, how to add them via check register. And these two are bolded because these two options were added recently in the last couple of weeks. So it's, it will be very exciting to see that if you've never seen uh, these two and you have used QuickBooks Online with attachments before. Then I want to cover add to any transaction created from scratch. That, that feature has been there for a very long time, but I'm going, to cover the, um, I'm going to cover it regardless. And then I'm going to talk about adding them through the main attachment screen and exactly what there are the different things you can do in the main attachment screen. And then how attachments interact with, uh, with a smartphone app, with an iPhone app or Android app. Okay, so I got my QuickBooks Online open here. And let me start with adding attachments from the check register. So the check register can be accessed a couple of ways. Uh, one, we can click on transactions up here on the left uh, navigation bar, click on banking, and then we can click on uh, go to register. Right? Once we select whichever account that we're going to use the register for, you know, whether it's a checking account or bank account or whatever. So we can click on go to register and that's sort of uh, one way we can go to the register. The other way we can go to the register, and I'll show you real quick. We'll click on the gear box on the top right, and then we'll click on chart of accounts. And then we'll go into the bank account that we want to go into. So we'll click right there where it says Chase Checking, double click, and that's how you get to the register. Now, once I'm in the register here, on the icon bar on the top right, if I click on that, I get to choose whether or not I want to see the attachments column. So if I uncheck that, then I don't see an attachments column here. If I click on it again and click attachments, then I do see uh, the attachments column right here. Okay, but I'm also going to click on show one per line, and that's because it's just typically a lot easier to um, to visualize this. So we'll do one per line there with the attachments, and that's typically the easiest way to kind of see this. All right, so after the transactions are entered into the register, okay, so for example, this BMW expense, I can just add an attachment straight from here. So I can click on this Add Attachment button, and I'll click on that, and then this window will pop up asking me where in your computer is your attachment, right? So let's say, let's say this happens to be on my desktop, and I'll pick, let's say that's my attachment there, and I click on Open, and then basically the graphic file or the picture or whatever it is will upload and then once it's finished to upload it will be highlighted that means that you can click on it and if I click on that I can actually see what the invoice looks like right or invoice receipt whatever it happens to be and then I'll click on save so that's pretty much how you add transactions from the check register now next one I'm going to show you is how to add it from bank feeds so I'm going to click on the transactions button on the icon bar on the left then I'm going to click on banking and then basically, if I download transactions from the bank, and, um, and let me just click here, new transactions. So if I download my transactions from the bank, I can, as I add these transactions into, into QuickBooks, I can add the attachment right there and then. So let me show you. I'm going to click on one of these Best Buys here. And you know whether or not I have set up my vendors and my automatic account classification, and if you do it manually or if it's done by the rules, that doesn't really matter. Uh, there's another video that talks about online banking and bank feeds. But um, once you're done selecting the vendor's name and the and the expense account, whatever it happens to be, then we're going to click down here where it says Add Attachment. So we'll click on Add Attachment, and the same thing. We'll just pick uh, whatever receipt we have in our computer. Usually, we're going to scan these, or we're going to email them, them email them to ourselves, or whatever it happens to be, and we're, we're going to have them saved in the computer somewhere. So I'll select on that file i'll click on open and then basically when it's done uploading you will now see it being able to be highlighted that basically means it's fully uploaded when i click on it um, it will open up so i can see what my um, receipt looks like once i upload it and then i click on add and that basically 
because I'm in bank feeds that adds the transaction into the register and it also adds the, the attachment. Okay, so that's uh, from bank feeds and from check register. So let's talk about adding a transaction, um, for adding it to any transaction you create from scratch. Okay, so let me go into back into uh, QuickBooks here. So let's say, for example, um, just click on the home page here. So let's say, for example, I'm going to create uh, a new check. So I'm going to go to uh, quick create that little plus sign up there and then I click on uh, check and then whoever I happen to be paying a check to it doesn't really matter so I'm going to pay this vendor and I'll pick do some subscriptions and then what happens is if I wanted to have some sort of attachment to this check and this is just for internal purposes I would click up here where it says attachments that big button there that says drag and drop files I can actually um, I'm going to minimize this a little bit and let's say I happen to have these pictures in my desktop I can just grab one of my attachments here or my pictures that I have here and then I'm going to drag and drop it into that box and then basically uh, QuickBooks is going to upload that and then once it's, uh, once it's got that link there I can click on it so I can see exactly what the um, receipt looks like right and then that becomes permanently attached to that now if I don't want to drag and drop I'm just gonna minimize this for a second I can just click on any a white space in this box I can just click on any white space and then once I do that it pops up in a you know open file window and then I can pick whatever in my computer you know these pictures happen to be so you do have to have these pictures saved in your computer somewhere in your desktop in your documents file whatever it doesn't really matter Okay, so I'll hit save and close there. Let me show you a different example um, about uh, the same topic of adding it through any transaction we create from scratch. Now, when you add images to any QuickBooks transaction, don't just think of uh, a receipt. You know, Think of things related to your sale as well. So for example, I'm going to create an estimate here. And let's say, for example, I, I went to my customer's house and I created you know, some sort of um, proposal for a, for a job that we're going to do. And I'll put here whatever the proposal amount happens to be. And let's say I did take a picture of, um, of, the, of the place where I'm going to do the job. And um, in, my in my estimate itself, I want to make sure that I, I add some of the pictures that I took while I was out there. right? So I mean, I just show you a different example other than attaching receipts. So I'm gonna, let's say I have this picture that I took of the house, of a job that I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that into the images, and then that becomes part of my estimate. But what's even more powerful, I think the most powerful piece, is that once the image is uploaded, and it's in a transaction that you um, interact with your clients with, and when the image is uh, fully uploaded, and I can do several, like I don't have a limit, See, I can upload, let's assume that's another one. I can upload uh, multiple pictures there. There really isn't a limitation on how many you can upload. That little checkbox there that says attached to email, if I click on that, right, and then what happens is if I email this to my client, and I'm just going to put my, my own email here. So if I email this estimate to my client via QuickBooks, those images are going to be part of the email. I'll click here, save and send. And I opened up my email here just so you can see what that looks like. So when I send this estimate to my client, um, they're going to get the actual PDF of the estimate that I put together in QuickBooks. And they're also going to get the pictures that we attach. That's a really neat feature, I think. So the next section is how to add attachments via the main attachments screen or through the attachments window. So let me show you that. Let's say you happen to be on the home page here and you click on the top right on that gear icon next to your company's name. And then you go down to where it says lists and the very last um, option there on their list is attachments so we'll click on attachments and this is what the attachment window um, looks like so in the attachments window i can manually upload any um, attachment that i want so for example i can grab this uh, powerpoint file here and drag and drop it and it uploads into quickbooks online or i can drag one of these invoices here and just drag and drop them and that will also upload to QuickBooks Online. So that type of uploading um, it doesn't link to any particular transaction. It's just sitting there on QuickBooks Online waiting for you to do something with it. Now, what do I mean by waiting for you to do something with it? So I'll show you. Um, right here where it says link transactions, the ones that actually have a transaction attached to it, for example, like this picture of this house or the example that we did earlier, will have the transaction number there and you will be able to click it. So if I click on that, that would actually take me to the transaction 
in which um, those attachments were in. I'm going to hit cancel. That's not what I'm trying to achieve, though. I'm trying to look at these, this one here that doesn't have anything, um, any transaction attached to it. So what kind of things I can do with this? Well, one is I can select it here, click on batch actions, and I can create an expense straight from here. That's one of the options. Also, I don't have to select it though. over here the right where it says download. Next to it, I can hit a little drop down window and click on create expense. So if I let's try create expense. So if I do create expense, it will create an expense transaction in which I could choose, you know, whatever my vendor is and I can select whatever bank I paid it with. And then down here, automatically the attachment becomes sort of that primary element in there. I still have to select the vendor's name, the date, the amount. It's not really going to read this stuff for me and do the work for me. It will just attach the document itself. Now, there's a great app out there called uh, Receipt Bank that would actually do this work for you. you. You take a picture of the receipt and the app itself uh, does character recognition and then it's uploaded into QuickBooks. But that's not what we're covering here. Uh, we're covering, you know, we're going to manually create the transaction as the attachment is uploaded. So that's one of the things that we can do here from the main attachment window. The other thing that we can do is we can actually download each of these individually. So if I wanted to download one of these and save them into my computer, I just click on download and it loads it up. And then from there I can, you know, drag it to my computer or click save as or something like that. Now, the other thing is that's pretty cool is I can select all of them. Let's say, for example, I wanted all my images uh, backed up somehow. Then I can click on the little select all box and I can click on batch actions. And click export and that what that um, will do is it'll create a zip file a zip file basically is a, is a compressed file where every single picture will be in there and you will have one big download um, in a one compressed file so you can do that for uh, backing up purposes or whatever you can actually start seeing here in the bottom right how um, all the images are being downloaded into that zip file so there's a some of the kind of interesting things you can do with this uh, the other um, interesting you can do with this is as you upload um, receipts let's say for example that I want to get reimbursed from my customer right so I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, two receipts that I want to get reimbursed from my customers so I selected two of them and then I'm gonna click up here it says batch actions and I'm gonna click on create invoice and what that does is it creates a brand new invoice right which I, I still have to select who my customer is and the amount and all that stuff but then down here it adds both um, images there, both attachments there as um, automatically through that process where I selected them on the attachments window. And then I can use it as a reference to then invoice my client, you know, whatever service I happen to invoice my client that is related to those exp um, expenses. Now, I don't have to attach these to the email. So when I email it to my client, I don't have to check these two boxes. I don't have to. So if I want to email my client, but I don't want them to see the receipts, they're just in internal information, they uncheck those two. But if I do want my client to see the receipt because, for example, it's a reimbursement of some sort, then I do check those two, right? Because that's how QuickBooks knows whether or not that um, receipt's going to be part of the invoice or part of the estimate or the invoice or whatever we happen to do. Now, the other um, kind of interesting things you can do here with this uh, attachment um, screen is anything I upload that doesn't have an attachments to it, like for example, this image here, I can actually add a note. Um, so if I wanted to add a note to some sort, I'm going to click on edit and then I'll put a note saying, we'll call this one uh, Best Buy Receipt or something like that. I mean, obviously you would, you would use a lot better details for adding notes to that, but I'm just doing that as a reference. So in here I see, okay, that's the Best Buy Receipt that that's attached, but I mean, that's uh, attached, but these are not linked to any transactions. So they're attached to QuickBooks Online but they're not attached to any particular transaction. And what's interesting about this is, for example, if I go to an existing transaction of some sort, so I'm gonna go just to a, any transaction at random here. So, and I wanted to attach um, a, 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 uh, an image that was uploaded into the attachments window. Down here, it says show existing. If I click show existing, you're going to see a box here on the right side that's basically going to give me all the unattached or all the unlinked attachments. So these were the two that we uploaded that we just uploaded to that, to that screen without really telling it what transaction it belonged to. So I can actually just click on add and then click on add like that and it adds them down here. So it's a, another really interesting thing you can do with that um, 
with that uh, attachments window in itself. And the last topic I'll cover is um, adding an attachment via the smartphone app. So um, I took some screenshots here of my um, of, a, of my smartphone, and uh, basically I, I downloaded QuickBooks into my iPhone, and I um, and I clicked on the icon, and then I logged in into the QuickBooks file, and then here in the dashboard, down here in the bottom, I clicked on the little plus sign, and then I can select you know which transaction I'm going to create. So I I normally start with um, expense or something like that. Um, so I'll click on the little icon that says expense. And then um, the expense window is the one here on the left. The expense window looks like this. I actually have to uh, put the dollar amount. I have to select if it's a check, credit card, select the bank account that it came from. Also, um, the date and the vendor's name and the category and the memo, all that stuff I have to enter manually. But I click on the, on the little um, uh, picture, the little camera icon. And then, you know, I, I basically just take a picture of my receipt. And then once um, the transaction is accepted here on my smartphone, this is uh, what it looks like. And I just want to kind of show you after after this uh, transaction is uploaded, then immediately when I go back into uh, QuickBooks here, I'm going to see the transaction is, is going to be uploaded here. It's this one right here. Transaction was uploaded. There's that, uh, the name that uh, the app gave it. And then you can actually click on the, on the transaction itself. So I click on expense. And this is, um, this is exactly what I did to the smartphone app, right? So I took a picture of the receipt. I put Best Buy. I put Visa. All these things I put through the app. Um, and it was uploaded there automatically. So that's a, another really neat uh, thing um, that you have with QuickBooks Online is being able to use the app itself to, um, to upload applications. So um, that's it. That was um, attaching uh, transactions to uh, QuickBooks Online. If you like this video and you want me to make more videos like this, please hit like down there in the bottom. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and add any comments of things that you would like me to cover in the future. Thanks a lot.